Hello, everybody, and welcome to Daddy and the Big Boy. I'm Ben McCain, the Daddy. And I'm Zach McCain, the Big Boy. We are in the parking lot at Publix in Franklin. And we decided to uh, do a show here. And Publix is a, oh, it's a great supermarket. I got a, the workers have a great attitude. It's a, uh, it's a breath of fresh air. They're very nice. Yep. And they let 15 and 16 year old kids work and they're making money and they got a really good attitude when they're sacking your groceries. That's what I'm, that's what I'm telling you. What do you think about that? Yep, sounds great. Okay, Zach Scott. Hey, look Scott's, at this, Daddy. Yeah. I should give you some of the arm. Yeah, it's you like know, real ones. Zach, Zach, just uh, do this. Zach uh, puts those tats on his arm and uh, with ink, I got a and uh, it reminds me of a story. We were at some event. A guy was telling me this. I don't. I don't. I didn't experience it, but it was interesting. And the guy had. Uh, he was running like a little tattoo, you know, where kids could do the fake tattoos, and um, and and. Uh, all the kids were getting these fake tattoos, the the like like you've got there that you drew yeah, on there. Yeah, but they didn't do with pens, right? Yeah, they did yeah. it. They, it was just fake stuff. Yeah, the fake stuff. I've seen those. Before. Yeah, and um, and so the guy that was doing it had a he had real tattoos, a lot of tattoos, and uh, somebody uh, he asked one of the kids, he goes, "Do you like your so your daddy lets you let you put all those tattoos on your arm?" and the kid goes, yeah, he, he he does, he does. And he goes, well, my daddy didn't let me. And then now he's got all those real tattoos on his arm, you know, all over both arms. Anyway, I just thought that was an interesting story. So if that's what you want to do right now, but I've told you, and I'll tell you again, if you do the real thing and you want to take it off later on in life, they say it is extremely painful. So just, I'm gonna, just be aware of that. I'm going to tell them what all these are. This okay, is go ahead. two bones that are like, you know, crossed together like an X. Mm -hmm. And then this is a star. I used black ink mm -hmm. for, yeah, a black ink and blue ink mm -hmm. right here. Yep. For the star. How long did it take you to do that? Oh, like... Five minutes or something. Yeah. And then right here, you know, it's like a, you know, when you have cut and then there's stitches. Yeah. Well, but you can wash those off pretty yeah. easily, especially. But these know. aren't real stitches. Yeah. Yeah. No, we don't want real stitches. That's not fun. I've then, had some real stitches. Yeah, yeah. Like behind your. Yes. Ear right there yes. And the... then on my cheek right there for the uh, carcinoma. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's not. We fun. did a show about that. Remember? Yeah. And you had it yeah. right there. That's right. Uncle Butch and I both had been dealing with that some. It's not fun. No, it's not fun. Hey, Dad, we're like hunters because. I know. Like, that's what I thought. There's a bunch of trees in <laughs> them. A, a camo cap. cap. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it doesn't. It looks like we're. It looks like we're. Yeah, and you got your camo remember pants on too. We had yeah. a Christmas show and we did it, and then Mom got me these. Yeah, those are the ones that I'm wearing. Yeah, yo, oh, is it? Hey, yeah. what, what what's the story on the Christmas show when uh, you you said, well, we didn't say our names, and and I I looked back at the show after we posted it, we did say our name. We said our we names said it twice. Two times. Well, three times, I guess, at the end, right? Or no, I don't know if we did it at the end, but you just said well, we didn't say our names, and I go, okay, hello, I'm Ben McCain. Well, Zach, we're here in the middle. Yeah, but what did you just think we didn't say it? Yeah, was that it? Oh, goodness gracious. Okay, well, we talked about your... your okay, I have a joke. I have a joke. Oh, you got a joke for us? Lay it on us. What is big, bright, and silly? What is big, bright, and silly? A full moon. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay, keep going. What do you have when your head is hot, your feet are cold, and you see polka dots before your eyes? Tell me. A, a polka dotted sock over your head. <laughs> okay.
Okay, and you got a final one to make it three? Mm. Oh, yeah, the Apple one. What is another name for your iPhone charger? Apple juice. <laughs> you kind of let that one out of the bag because you said the Apple one. <laughs> Before, you know, you said, oh, yeah, the apple ones. You kind of let that one out of the bag early. But it's apple juice, right? That's a good, yeah, that's a good one, too. Juice. Thank you guys for watching, Daddy and the Big Boy. Uh, Zach is, Zach, you got, it's Zach's channel. I've mentioned this before. It is Zach's channel. I assist. I'm the daddy. He's the big boy. I think you've got 275, 274, I think, subscribers. Yeah. And, uh. We appreciate you subscribe. We're, we've got people that are watching us from Cambodia, and and also uh, Mauritius. Those are that's around the, the the other side of the world, and we're just grateful for people watching us. And you know, uh, we're grateful, aren't we? Yeah, and also I think tomorrow is New Year. No, no. See your time, and uh, no, no. Tomorrow is New Year's Eve. Oh, New Year's Eve. That's right, New Year's Eve. Like Christmas Eve. Like Christmas Eve. Well, it's different, Christmas What's Eve. and then Evening. Oh. Evening. See, you got lots of questions. You know, uh, they people accuse me of, of asking uh, a lot of questions, and My I do. Mrs. Matters <laughs> wants us to ask questions a lot. Well, and that's a good thing. I think that's a good thing to ask a lot of questions. That's how you learn. And, you know, I was talking to Chief Roddy Parker yesterday. We had lunch at Cracker Barrel. He's the police chief of Nolansville. And we met him right over there at Home Depot. Remember, you saw yeah, him, he had there. his badge and he had his gun. gun on and he was all dressed up and you spotted him and you go, hey, dad, 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 that guy, he's got a badge and a gun on. You remember that? Yeah, he's that was a like badge six, and a gun. That was about six, six months ago, six or seven. And he became, we became friends. Yep. Chief Parker, we became friends and yeah, we're, uh, but I was telling him about you reading. I said, Zach is reading a lot, and a lot of that has to do with uh, Dave Pelkey. Hey, Dad, it's going for seven minutes. I know. I just, yep. I just remembered this time when we did a show, and I was holding the camera, for, and the show was seven minutes. Yeah, I know, in your arms, you said, that was yeah. when we were driving, I think, on uh, through uh, West L.A., you know, and we were showing a lot of the lot, lot of the different sites in West Dallas. Were we showing the homeless then, and also, or we were just we're showing. Uh, we're just driving. Just driving, but you said, well, man, I think we showed the mall or something. Yeah, something like, or the one that they were reconstructing or yeah. re refurbishing the yeah. West Side Pavilion. That I think. Uh, I think they made it Google, theater. Google, Google, no, Google bought it. I think oh. Google bought it. I think they're gonna or Google or Facebook, one of the others. I, I think, think it was Google. Yeah. And they're gonna they're gonna rebuild it. So, so we may be going for our longest show so far. You know, Google. Well, what, <laughs> so what were we? What we? I was telling Chief Parker how you were really into reading, and a lot of that has to do with Dave Pelkey and the the Captain Underpants, the Dog Man, new... and the Cat Kid books. But you really enjoying, the, and that's I told Chief Parker. I said it's great for four, five, six, seven year eight. Four, five, six, seven, eight year old, nine year old, ten year old boys, they just love they love it, don't they? Dog dog man. Yeah, and also on the show when we we're like at Costco and we we're at the parking lot, you know, and we like did a show and we said that I got a new comic that Dave Pokey wrote and I said it was Dog Man, but it's that character, Cat Kid, is from Dog Man. Yes. But that's not the title. It's Cat Kid Comic Club. Yep. Yeah. I think yeah. we cleared that up on the Christmas show, I think. Didn't we? Didn't we talk about that on the Christmas show? I think we did. Anyway, but yeah. but Roddy Parker was saying, Chief Parker was saying, the fact that you're reading and reading this early, he said, that that really, uh, that, that that is so important for kids. Because I really wasn't reading that much when I was a kid, I don't think. It was later in life that I really started enjoying reading. But you enjoy it, don't you? Yep. And you've got the you're getting the big words down, and you're it's helping with your spelling. But Mrs. Matters, your your teacher, she says it's good to ask questions. Yeah, she always wants us to ask questions after we read a book. Sometimes she wants us to ask questions, like yeah, and also sometimes we do that at Mrs. Carlisle's class. Yes. 
Yes, yes. Thank you guys so much for watching, Daddy and the Big Boy. This is uh, Ben McCain and Zach McCain coming to you from the Publix parking lot in Franklin, Tennessee. And I think this is the longest show we've ever done. Well, we may go even longer in uh, 2022 because you just never know what's going to happen. I mean, it's your channel and we're just we're just putting it out there. Some people go for an hour. Oh yeah. Well, Uncle Butch and I, we did a show a good um, a show in Oklahoma. It was an hour and at one time it was 90 minutes. Good morning, Oklahoma. They extended it, and we did an hour and a half. Yes, sir. So, uh, you know, and some radio shows go go three hours. They got to keep the feather in the air. They got to keep the ball bouncing. The ball bouncing. The ball. They got to keep the ball bouncing. They got to keep the feather in the air. You know what I'm saying? Yep. And like Clay Travis and Buck Sexton, they go for three hours, Monday through Friday, eleven to two. So that's three hours. Limbaugh, Rush Limbaugh, the late Rush Limbaugh, he used to go for three hours. Some guys, I think, even go four and five, if I'm not mistaken. So there you go. Hey, Dad. Can you keep the ball bouncing? Can you keep yeah. the feather in the hey, air Dad, that long? Dad. Sir? Sometimes you're, we're doing what we, you do sometimes. Sometimes you say, you say when you're talking to somebody that we're going to, we're going to, stop talking and you know just like do what we were doing and then you bring something up and then you start talking again <laughs> that's kind of what we're doing right here yeah, on the show yeah we did that i was that they thought i was closing i closed thought yeah. we were closing out the show but uh, we're still going and also that like happened on when uh the songs ain't going down till the sun comes up yeah yeah it's like a trick when they go like yep. down and then they yep. go back up that's right. You like that song, don't yeah. you? You like old uh, Garth Brooks' song "I Ain't Going Down Till the Sun Comes Up." Yeah, that's a that's a that's a real, that's one of his best songs, I think. Yeah, and uh, I think he was a, he was a co-writer on that song too. Yeah, but you you really like that. We get in the car and he says, "I want uh, I want to play that Garth Brooks." That's right. I, I got I got it right here. Well, you got the uh, I think it's on the other side, but that's the uh, it's from the hits. It's from the hits. Yeah, I think I got it right on the side here. Yeah, let's see. He loves it. See, and we're 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 yeah. Uh, this is it right here. See, we've talked about this before. I think we drive the oldest cars in Franklin. This is our 2003 Lincoln, and uh, and uh, let's see. Ain't going down. It's the, to the first sun. song on the CD. Oh, and you know what? They talk right here about the believer. The believer magazine. The Believer magazine. We were in, Butch and I were featured. He had a magazine called Believer, and we were featured in that. We've still got a copy of that. And Tammy Rose was the uh, editor. I think she's still with him putting uh, putting out all the publicity about Garth. Uh, you know his first appearance was on our show in Oklahoma City. You knew that, right? Yeah. Yep. And it's featured on Netflix now on, uh, on the... Uh, bio that they did on him. A two-part one. Ain't Going Down the Sun Comes Up. Kent Blazy, Kim Williams, and Garth Brooks. Man, that that's it. That's just, you love that. That may be your favorite yeah. favorite Garth Brooks song. You love it. You, you love it in here. It's it's rapid fire, isn't it? I think that's the only one I've heard. Well, that's, maybe. well, beca yeah, and you know why? Because yeah. when I play it, you want to keep playing it. Yeah. yeah. Ain't Going Down to the, Daddy, Daddy, can you play it for me, Daddy? I want you to learn that song. Ain't I think Going you, Down the sun comes <laughs> yeah, up. Yeah. Yeah. Go around the world in a pickup truck. That's a good one, isn't it? And then they go down, and then Trixie, and then they and go Trixie back up. Trixie, because you think it's over, but it's not. Yeah. I think the first time I heard that song, uh, when they did that trick, I thought that it, the song was over, but it actually didn't stop. You know, you know, um, I've got a, Butch and I've got a good picture with Garth, and he's in his white tuxedo from one of the I Country Music that. Awards. It's on, it's on our wall. And uh, I remember the first time your mom and I, I brought her over to my my place because I just, I wanted to see, you before know. Before you guys yeah, were married. Yeah, before we got married, she just came over and she said, who is the guy in the white suit? <laughs> I go, well, honey, that that's, she she didn't follow country music. And Garth might, I think Garth would would find that story amusing because most people know who he is. But she said, who is the guy in the white tuxedo? I said, well, that would be, Garth Brooks. He sold more 
uh, albums than any solo artist in the world. I think maybe the biggest selling artist in the world, but that would be Garth Brooks. And that's us with the Country Music Awards at the Country Music Awards. So I said we were going to sign out a long time ago. How long are we going to go with this, man? I don't know. Are you having fun? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we better sign off. We better sign up. But are you sure? I think I am. Okay. You you, clo you close it up, okay? Okay, see you next time. Bye.